Hi, everybody. Good evening. I am so excited to be here for the Custom Kabooties event. Um, and I am just going to chat a little bit while I wait for people to join us live. This is an event that we've really been excited about and looking forward to for a while because I only take custom orders a few times a year. I'm so excited that that time is finally here. Now, I also want to let you know that if you are part of our texting club, about 10 minutes ago, you got a text from me that said the custom Kabooties launch party is starting. Come join me in the group. If you would like to uh, receive texts like that, text Thai Kabooties to 72599. I try to only text you about once a week, um, but you get things like announcements about events like these, and you get sometimes just like special little offers or things in your inbox. And my favorite part about the new and improved texting club is you can actually text me back. Um, so if you ever need to ask a question, if you just want to say hi, you can respond to those texts and I'll actually receive them, which is really cool. Now, this is a very new program, like maybe two weeks old. So if you ever get a text that is weird or repetitive or just doesn't really make sense to you, I would love it if you'd reply and let me know. Um, I only want to send you things that make you happy and help you. Um, so if you get a text that doesn't check either or both of those boxes, just respond and say, hey, Kelly, um, go check out your software because it's brand new and I'm still trying it out and I want to make sure it's set up correctly. Um, so I'd love your help with that. It looks like some of you are getting in and I'm so excited you're here. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, one other thing. So I use a piece of software called StreamYard to go live. I love it because it lets me schedule events. It lets me um, stream to a YouTube channel so I can actually take the YouTube video and embed it on the blog, which is really helpful. The only thing that stinks is if you um, don't click the little link in the, the caption of the video and tell StreamYard that they can see your name. Um, then I can't see your name when I'm live. So that's the only thing that permission does is give StreamYard permission to show me your name. Um, so I would love it if you would just click that little link and say, yeah, you can see my name. I see Megan did it. Hi, Megan. Um, so do you guys want to hear about custom Kabooties? I would love to jump in and get started. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to pick out um, fabric that works for your shoes. And then I'm gonna take you over to Spoonflower and I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of a print that'll work and a print that won't. And then I'm gonna take you to kabooties.com and we are going to check out um, how to place your order, how to grab your custom kabooties. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna check in the comments real quick. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Megan. Hi, Christina. Um, and let's get started. So all the fabric that we're using for the custom event comes from Spoonflower. I like Spoonflower for a few reasons. The first of all is all their prints are actually made by indie artists. So whenever you purchase fabric from them, those small artists are getting a commission. So you're giving back to small business owners, to small artists, um, and supporting them. And especially right now with the world, what it is, it's such a worthwhile cause. You're getting a print that you're not going to see at Hobby Lobby or Joann's. And um, they also are very conscientious about the kinds of inks they use, their effect on the environment, all their fabrics printed in North Carolina. So, you know, again, you're supporting a U.S. based business um, that actually employs artisans local to them, which is really exciting and really cool. They also will take all of your designs and I can have printed exactly however much I need for your shoes. And they print that all out on what looks kind of like a quilt on whatever of needing. So that's really cool too. Uh, if you have been in the group for a while, you saw back in September when we did this, I got like two yards of fabric and it had all the squares of all the prints you chose on it, which is I think really neat. So I actually have with me physical fabric swatches so that you guys could get a little peek at what that means. When you go to Spoonflower, um, I recommend going to where it says size and clicking test swatch which is gonna give you an eight by eight square. And this is actually, so you can get an idea of the physical scale, an eight by eight test swatch. Uh, the reason I chose these two to share with you, I have like a lot of <laughs> test swatches hidden back behind me if you couldn't guess. Um, but I chose these two because I think they're really good um, representations of something that might not be a great choice for baby shoes, even though it's adorable, versus something that is going to get you exactly um, what you want, what you expect when you have it right side up. Um, 
So I want to show you when you take this eight by eight fabric swatch, I have lots of styles of shoes here tonight and any style I show you, you're going to be able to get in any size you want as part of the custom event. So if you wanted these slippers, but you wanted them in a men's size 15, let me know. I'll do that for you. Um, but these are actually newborn baby shoes compared to this fabric swatch. You can see that even though these caps look pretty small, it's, it's actually not going to fit on the toe of these shoes, right? This little, Siamese looking cap. It's actually bigger than the toe of those baby shoes. So I always recommend going for a smaller print like this, where you can see all those boxes are going to fit perfectly on the toe of that baby shoe. Even though when you look at it on your screen, they're going to look so tiny that you might think, oh, that's too little. I'm not going to be able to see it. It's actually a perfect scale. So when you take, um, when you look at the fabric swatch, and I'm going to show you an easy way to do this on a computer. I like to just look at one fourth of the test swatch view, and that's going to give you an idea of what your baby shoes are going to look like. Now for a newborn pair, this is actually, it's actually probably going to be more like even half of that. But for a 2T pair, you're going to get that much of the print on your shoe. Now I do my best to give you the best fabric placement possible. So if you ordered this print, I would try really hard to fit the cats on as best as possible. But like I said before, I also try not to order too much of any given print to eliminate um, textile waste. So I only have so many options of how to fit your pattern pieces within the amount of fabric I have. So try really hard to order a fabric scale that's going to fit on your shoes. Now I showed you baby shoes and how those might fit. The good news is if you're ordering boots, kids slippers or mommy slippers, it's actually a lot easier because you see you have a lot more fabric to work with here between everything that's on the ankle cuff and the toes of the shoes. These are two T boots, but here they are compared to this test swatch. You can see that these cats will actually fit really easily on the cuff of your boots. So something like this might actually work for boots. And even these are kids slippers. These are like a kid size 13. So you can see they're about the size of a test swatch. And then these are an adult large slipper. This is like a size um, 10 or 11 women's shoe compared to the size of the test watch. So hopefully that helps. If you've been looking at Spoonflower and thinking like, I don't know how this is going to work, Like this is confusing. I don't know how it's going to work in a pair of shoes. Hopefully that helps um, to have seen the test watch what that scale looks like in real life compared to the actual shoes. I'm going to take a peek and see if we have any questions right now. I know, Amanda, the cats are so cute. I wanted to do those so bad and I got the scale. I, I ordered the swatch and I thought, that's too big. Oh, I'm glad that you were able to figure it out. Hi, Maritza. Oh, I hope you had a good dinner. I'm glad that you made it. Um, let me know, too. Is this time work for when I do evening lives? Uh, my kids go to bed at 730. It was 830 here on the East Coast uh, when I started. So this is this is after bedtime for me. But I have a feeling if you live west of here, it might still be dinner time and bedtime for you. So let me know if this time works. If you prefer daytime, if you prefer later, let me know. All right, so I'm going to try to share my screen, which is like right about as technical as I get. So if I do anything wrong, let me know. We're heading over to spoonflower.com right now. Let's see. I'll take you here. Okay, so you should probably see my screen now. And we are at spoonflower.com. I hope that you can see this correctly. Um, so this is a print that if you have been paying attention to the Facebook group, you actually saw earlier today. And the reason I'm showing you this particular print is because when we look at this in the yard view, you can see everything that's in the fabric. Sorry, I won't, <laughs> I won't mouse over that again yet. You can see everything that's in this print and it's really cute. But I, I say that it's my own design. I shouldn't say it's really cute. I'm partial to it. Um, but when we go into the test watch view, you lose all those pretty little crystals that were in here before. And this is the eight by eight swatch that I showed you before. So those little squares of fabric I was hanging up, this is what they look like on the site. Now there's one really cool trick. Um, if you're on a computer, if you mouse over 
This preview window is actually the four inches by four inches, that top quarter of the screen. So if you mouse over it, this is gonna show you exactly how much of that print will fit on the toe of your shoes. Now you can see on this print, you actually don't see any of the pretty little crystals. Like you might be able to center this one if you get lucky. Um, but for the most part, you're not actually gonna get the design of the print that you saw when you were out in full yard mode. That's why I love going into test watch. And then if you're on a computer, um, mousing over it like that and getting a close up view of the print. So that is kind of one example of a print that you like that might not work. Now, as I mentioned before, this is actually my design. I designed it for something totally unrelated to shoes. And then I got it, the, a sample printed today. And I thought, well, actually that would be really cute slippers. So if you are interested in this exact design, let me know. And I can, I can make it a smaller scale for you. But if you go to somebody else's print, then we're kind of stuck with what they have. Um, so here's a different print. And now this one, when you're looking at the yard size view, it just looks like a bunch of swatches of nothing, which might be off putting at first. But when we click into the test watch view, you can tell really clearly that those are bunnies and flowers. Um, and this print would be great, a perfect size for baby shoes. Um, when you mouse over it, you can see this is about what'll fit on the toe of a pair of shoes and you can see the little flowers and the little bunnies. Um, so this is something that I would recommend if you're looking for a baby shoe, um, something in this scale that out in the yard view looks impossibly tiny, but in the test watch view, you can kind of make out what it is. All right, um, so if I wanted to put this print on a pair of baby shoes, I'm gonna go up to the, um, the URL and I'm gonna copy it. So I've done that, I'm gonna check in and then I'm gonna go to kabooties.com and I'm gonna pick um, whichever style I wanted. So let's say I want this on baby boots, okay? And then I'm gonna pick the size. I'll say it's for my one-year-old. And then I'm gonna come here to printer color. And what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna paste that design that I just showed you right here. Now let's say um, there was something specific that I wanted done. Maybe I wanted um, the toes reinforced or something like that. Um, you can put that down here in the order notes and then just add it to your cart. And so that's how you order it. So in the style, you can choose baby shoes. Youth slippers are like um, those smaller slippers that I showed you before, the ones I said were a size 13, those dog slippers. Adult slippers are um, for moms and dads or any adult. <laughs> um, so there are also swim shoes, which are the same thing as the shoes and slippers. They're just um, made out of swimsuit fabric on the top. So you can wear those in the pool. Um, baby boots, I showed you before. And youth boots and adult boots are the same as the baby boots, except they are in youth and adult sizes. So make sure you choose, if you're gonna choose a youth size out of here, make sure that you've chosen a youth style in the style box. Don't choose baby shoes and then choose an adult medium. It will let you do that technically. Um, it will let you put an order through like that, but um, I'll have to refund your order and make you redo it. <laughs> so make sure you choose the correct style to match um, the size that you've chosen. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna come back and see if you have any questions. Let's see. I see a lot of you are commenting on this time and it seems to work for you. So that's awesome. Mary, I am so welcome. I had a feeling I do a lot of fabric shopping, as you can guess. But even when I started um, started Kabooties, I had a really hard time figuring out what was on the screen versus what would actually work. And I had a lot of surprises where I would order a print and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. And then it came in the mail and I thought, oh, I just I just wasted <laughs> my time and money on something that won't work. So I want to make sure um, that this is an easy process for you all. And Spoonflower does a great job of giving you the ability to see things in the same size. The only thing that's tricky about Spoonflower is if you're on their main page and scrolling through all the designs, they're not all at the same scale, the thumbnails. So some might be showing you in the thumbnail what's called a fat quarter which is like half a yard in each direction. So it's like, yeah, if you cut the yard in half, half 
hot dog style and hamburger style, if you remember that from elementary school, um, that's a fat quarter. Um, so they might show you that as the thumbnail and they might show you that little test swatch I just showed you as the thumbnail. Um, so it's really hard when you're scrolling through to figure out some things that look like they're really big prints are actually very small and something that looks like it's actually very small on the thumbnail might actually be big. So you have to really click into the print and then click test watch to get an idea of how it's gonna print out. Amanda, will you do spring, swim again this spring? Um, so I have another custom event planned and I should have written down what it was. I know it's not for a few months. Um, I will offer swim shoes every time there's a custom event. I am staring at my calendar right now, and that's why I'm making a weird face. Now, this might change because I am still getting things figured out. It looks like the next custom event I have on my calendar is May 2nd. So you should be able to get swim shoes again in May if you're thinking, do I want to risk it and guess their size now or wait till closer to swim season? Um, I am hoping at the beginning of May to offer more customs. I don't know yet if I'm going to do specifically a collection of swim shoes. I don't have it on the calendar right now. Um, we might end up doing a limited edition run of swim, kind of like we did the Valentine's prints last week. If that's something you're really interested in and I get a lot of demand for it. But right now, I would say this is a great time to pick up swim shoes or if you want to wait until May, that would be your next chance. Let's see. Are the customs made from Eco Canvas? So, Christina, I would like to make the customs from Eco Canvas, but they don't offer that fabric base in um, the printing style that I told you about. So I typically use um, linen cotton canvas for the customs. I'm glad that you asked. Thank you for that. Um, I am so glad that you love your swim shoes. Swim shoes are something I don't offer a lot of because the fabric is really slippery and um, trickier to sew with. Um, but I do love using them with my daughter. Those are the shoes she lived in last summer, like even just running around in the yard. She was always in her swim shoes. So I'm so glad that you love them too. Can I order dinos with a reinforced toe? Um, so it, that is an option that I don't offer on the website all the time, but if you send me a message and say, Hey, I want to get these with a reinforced toe, um, I do have the time in my schedule to do it right now. I couldn't guarantee it like six months from now. I don't know how busy we'll be, but if that's something you want within the next month or so, um, just send me a message and I will get that set up for you. Okay, perfect, Amanda. Yep, so if you want swim shoes, but you don't know what size your kid will be this summer, if they're like mine and they grow really fast, I can totally, um, I totally understand that. Um, yeah, you can wait until May to grab your swim shoes. Let's see. What is re, I had a feeling when I typed that in, this was gonna ask a lot of questions. So basically, I don't have any examples around, but, um, so all of the shoes have this, it's this rubber sole, it's like grippy rubber sole. So some kids, they're the, for whatever reason, um, the toes of their kabooties wear out really quickly, just for a handful of kids. I've seen probably 90% of, of kabooties that I've seen that the toes hold up fine, especially in the canvas and the denim. Um, but for some kids, like, I don't know, they just drag their toes in the ground when they walk, or maybe they spend more time um on like textured concrete and so that just that is really hard on shoes um anything that's like a driveway that's got texture or sidewalk that has texture can be hard on the fabric part of your um, shoes so some people like to have like this much rubber basically over the toe of their shoes so it's just another little piece of rubber that goes right here to keep their toes from wearing out and i'm always happy to add that on if that's something you want um, just send me a message. Like I said, I can still do that on any of our prints now, especially this week during custom week. I don't know in the future how that'll look, but for now, just send me a message. Let's see. Okay. Um, I am not seeing any more questions. I'm going to give it a minute. Um, and oh, let me see. I think I didn't show you how to order, like where to go. Um, so there should be on the, the description of this video, there should be a link for you. 
Um, but if you don't have the link, just go to kabooties.com slash products slash custom dash kabooties. So it's right here. <laughs> um, and that will get you the link to order. You have until Saturday, January 30th. On that day, that has to be a hard, hard cutoff because on January 31st, I'm going to place the order for fabric. Now, if you are on the listing page, scroll down through the description. A lot of times, if you're like me and you're online shopping, you might not actually read the description of things, but this is one item um, I highly recommend reading the description for. The directions to choose fabric, all that I just went through are gonna be in the description of the item, but there's also gonna be um, a timeline in here. So January 24th, which is today through January 30th, that's the ordering window. That's when you're going to um, go do some shopping, pick out your fabric. Uh, that's the fun stuff. On January 31st, I'm putting in the order for the fabric. So after that point, I can't take any more custom orders. Um, I'm sending it into the printer and they're gonna start working on our fabric. Um, Spoonflower is still affected by the pandemic in their manufacturing. So typically I get all of my things printed within a week, but I'm saying it's gonna take two weeks um, for the fabric to be printed and arrive just between manufacturing slowdowns and mail being slower than usual. So I'm estimating that the fabric will arrive on February 15th. And again, this is all listed in the product listing down in the description. Um, so I would say, well, I'll be able to start sewing your shoes around February 15th. So I wouldn't order anything that you want for Valentine's Day in this custom round. And then February 15th to March 15th, I'm gonna be sewing your orders. I'm estimating it's gonna take a month for me to get it all done because I am personally sewing every single pair of customs myself. I do have a small team of work from home sewists who sew kabooties, but I do all of the customs personally. Um, so for that reason, I'm giving myself a little bit of a cushion and saying it might take as long as a month. Last time, I think it took me two weeks to sew all the customs, but I'd rather estimate a longer window and get it done faster and, and you get excited um, than tell you they're all gonna be shipped by February 15th and still be working on them on March 15th. So. Um, that's kind of a general timeline. Again, the fabric might be here in a week from when I order it. I might finish sewing in two weeks. Um, so it might get here a lot faster than I've estimated, but um, just be aware these are gonna take longer to get to you because um, the fabric is being custom designed, the fabric is being custom printed, and then I'm sewing all of them. Um, so just a little heads up in terms of turnaround times. And let's see if there's any more comments. Nadina, any print can be used on the swim. So um, it's the exact same ordering process. I just um, have that that quilt kind of fabric. They, they print that on swim fabric too. So that's pretty cool. Um, if my babies were not sleeping, they would be in their kabooties. But I, uh, here, I'm going to show you my feet again. I'm in my kabooties. So yes, we are. We all live in them. All right. And Christina, yes, I can uh, reinforce the toes on adult slippers as well. Yes, now you have to go look at all the things you want for swimming. Um, if you go back through the group in, I don't know if it was September or the round before, somebody uh, picked up the cutest swim fabrics. They were like little pool floats. Oh my gosh, they were adorable. And I have one thing sitting here, by the way, I wanted to tell you. So as you can imagine, I get a lot of packages from Spoonflower and they keep sending me these cute little enamel pins. I posted a picture in the group earlier and I think I have six now and I'm probably gonna get more. Um, and I don't know what to do with this many pins. So I thought um, since y'all are spending a lot of time on their website lately too, maybe some of you would like these pins. So if you want one of these thrown in your order, tell me in the comments and the first, I guess, six people who comment and place their order that they'd like one of these pins, I will stick one in your package. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, I would love to pass these on to someone who has a place to stick these, um, but I'm not gonna just throw them in because I would hate for you to give the bag to your kid and there be a, a tack inside. So if you want one of these Spoonflower logo pins, leave a comment in your order and I will pass these out until they're gone.
Thank you. I am so excited that you're all here. I hope you have a great week. I can't believe it's Sunday night already. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, sending me a Facebook message works, but um, because I have the Kabooties account and my personal messenger account, uh, and then sometimes they go into like an other folder, sometimes I miss messages and it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I, I literally don't know it's there. Um, so email kelly at kabooties.com is a great way to get a hold of me or getting into the texting program, text hi kabooties to 72599. Make sure you say yes if it asks if you really want to opt in and then you can just text me and I get that right on my phone. My watch buzzes that you've texted me. So I definitely see those. That's the most reliable way to get a hold of me really quickly. Um, so if you have any questions, if you need any help, don't um, don't hesitate to contact me if you are on Spoonflower and they don't somehow don't have the design you want in the thousands and thousands of uh, designs they have. It happens. Um, I can help you out with that, too. Uh, and some of my favorites that we've done, somebody sent me a picture of their cat and their baby's initials. And we made a design with cats that looked like their actual cat and then their baby's initials splashed throughout. Um, and that was really fun. Um, somebody else sent me a message and said, I can't find this particular print that corresponds with my spouse's profession. And it turned out that the thing that they were looking for was trademarked and we were both super surprised. So I can help you kind of navigate things like that too. Um, I don't know who this is, but I am so glad. I have a guess. I have a, there's, there's two names in my head. I think this might be, but I am so excited that I was able to help you. Alexandra, I am so excited to make your shoes for you. Um, I will make a note though. I will, if you want one of these pins, Alexandra, I will put a note in your order for you. Yeah, Amanda, let me know. Send me a picture of your cat. We can, we can come up with some shoes. It's so fun. All right, guys. Uh, I have to go check on my son and make sure he's still in bed because he's been wandering lately. Uh, so I am going to say goodbye for tonight. But if you need anything, don't be afraid to text me or shoot an email to kelly at kabooties.com. Have a great night. I will be back in the group tomorrow with a sneak peek of what uh, some of you all have chosen. See ya.